Okay, here we are. We're back with Halo Wars. It's the ninth level. The Flood. And we're doing this on the heroic difficulty, as you can see in the top right-hand corner of the screen. I'm doing these pretty quick back-to-back -back in terms of uh, how much time passes in between each video being recorded, so would not be surprised if I continue this whole, uh, or complete, rather, this whole campaign before actually um, receiving feedback on this production. So, whatever you might recommend me to do, unless it's something that wouldn't require me rerunning the entire campaign, it's probably best that it just happens for the next title that I play, which I don't actually know what will be yet. Might be Armies of Exigo. Who knows? Spirit of Fire, this is Red Team. We're a hundred meters from Anders' transponder signal. Meeting strong resistance. Seeing some pretty crazy stuff out here. Over. Hold your position, Red Team. Reinforcements will come to you. Sergeant Forge, rendezvous with Red Team and find Anders. But be careful. We don't know what these things are capable of. I perceived Red Team's coordinates. I've marked it on your map. Well, we do have an elephant already here to start, which is pretty nice. We actually have two elephants, so these can serve as like, uh... Oh, we have all three of the elephants that we had last mission. I guess that makes sense, right? And we have got these, uh, little supply pads here that I didn't even see. Uh, so those are obviously going to be pretty good. Um, I'm trying to think about what else is on this map. There's another base site we can take. I don't think there's any Covenant presence on this supply area. Complete. Uh, which is... Fine, I guess. But the Flood don't... Well, actually, I think they do build over entire base sites. They're like, um... In the melee game, they're used like neutral units. Similar to... There's another neutral race. It's, uh, the... Separatists or something. I don't remember. Oops. Right away. You got it. <laughs> Good done. Reactor complete. All right, cool. All right, so now we can upgrade all of our supply pads. That's great stuff. More resources required. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we can upgrade all of our supply pads. Great stuff. We do have uh, another supply pad coming because I didn't have okay. money to order up another barracks, which is fine. Uh, do we really Supply need a barracks upgrade. this time around? No, I don't think so. We've got enough guards around the top end of our base, so I think it's probably best to grab a turret over here, since this is the, logistically speaking, the hardest uh, or furthest away area. So, we take our ground forces the longest to reinforce. <clears throat> Alright, get all those gagging sounds out of the way. Before, uh, before the kinky stuff starts happening. Moving. I don't really know what our game plan is here. We don't start out with uh, Forge on a Warthog, so it's pretty hard to scout around. Although we do already have the Supply Grenadier... Oh, wait, no, this is the Gunner upgrade. So we actually don't have the Gunner upgrade just yet. So we'll get that first and then get uh, a couple Warthogs around so we can scout out and see what's going on. Uh, in the meantime, I said I probably didn't want a barracks because they obviously infantry against the flood are not the greatest although in the last mission i think we did all right with them so i don't know let's go ahead and get a field armory see what happens wow they're getting their dicks cut off there man all right cool good shit gunner researched um what else do we want to prioritize here we can just get a couple of warthogs. Flame mortar makes sense against the flood as well. I don't know, man. This uh, this whole sequence of events, the flood and all that, I'm not Field super enthused by, I guess you could say. Ah, uh, the flood swarm. These units are great. I remember these being really obnoxious to deal with, actually. So, not looking forward to that one. We can go ahead and get adrenaline. Just on the off chance that we wind up. Uh, well, they actually don't seem to be doing much damage. But yeah, adrenaline will be good for kiting the uh, infection forms, obviously. Um, although if we're gonna get bother getting that, we might as well also get a uh, a barracks for the sake of upgrading.
Kill 20, flood stock. Fortress upgrade complete. Uh huh. Alright, well. I guess we could. Mm, I don't know. Do we really only want to get these tier 2 upgrades? I mean, we can get a base later on, anyways, right? So I guess it makes it makes perfect sense to go for a barracks and then a supply pad. And we can turn one of these into probably an air pad. I don't think that they have great anti air from what I remember. But I guess we'll find out sooner or later. We'll just save our cash for that uh, coveted upgrade. Keep scouting around, see what we can see. Ah, the uh, carrier forms. Interestingly enough, the floods seem a lot easier to deal with than I remember, but presumably they will be more challenging as time goes on. Let's go ahead and get that new blood ability for our marines and get a couple extra squads over here since apparently we need it. And then we can go ahead and get a flame mortar. Alright, so I don't really know what's going to be going down here. I'd like to get that base up and running pretty soon. I guess we can order up a couple extra warthogs. Oh, we were supposed to be saving our cash. I'm just an idiot. Ah, I see. They're being pulled in. Sucked in by the void. Well, at least they're prioritizing our uh, supply pad for some reason. New blood. Research. Alright. Now I'll save my money for that, uh, that thing that I was talking about. Why do these guys not actually, uh... Shoot at this stuff. They don't auto-aggro this, apparently. Alright, whatever. So, a couple warthogs. I'll just create a control group with these guys. Um... Go ahead and upgrade the supply pad, and then we'll go ahead and... Why is that sound effect so loud? Holy shit. That's crazy. Get that advanced reactor. So... Presumably now we should be able to just move... ...towards our, uh... Oh. You guys need to pull back. I'm pretty sure these units are bullshit. I always remember them being bullshit. I can't imagine they aren't bullshit. You know what I mean? But apparently they do no no damage. I don't know. Man. The, the infection forms actually seem to chew warthogs up. Presumably they're like light armored units or something. We don't have access to that kind of information, so it's kind of hard to know for sure. But um. Let's go ahead and get that air pad that I was talking about. That might be a mistake. Maybe those flood swarms that are uh, actually really deadly against aircraft or something. Like, I don't really know what to... What to say specifically. What are you even shooting at? And why does it have a million health? Uh, I think that's a... What? Okay. Well. All right. Let's go ahead and get it a missile launcher for the aircraft, and I guess we could get that other turret, but I don't think there's anything over here besides some eggs. We can see what's up, I guess. Um, grab a couple more of those warthogs, and then this air pad is almost done, sure. Um, we can go ahead and get reserves, makes sense. Oh, there was some, uh, infected elites. Pull the marines back here. We don't really need to do that kind of micro. Obviously, we have plenty of money. Marines are really cheap, but I figure why not. Yeah, so the stocks do seem to be doing okay against... Uh, I don't know. They're probably all right. Oh, these ones don't even have infection forms in them. They just have supplies. Oh, wait. No, that one did Maybe only some of them have them. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So, what do we want to get now? We can't get wingmen until we get more 
We can't even get any units besides Hornets, even this late into the campaign. Though I think the campaign's actually pretty fucking long. I don't know. It's certainly an interesting, uh... You can see the air units come out from the back here, instead of flying out from over there, which is kind of cool. Nice touch. Eventually we get Vultures, which are these really huge fucking units, not to be confused with the... Uh, StarCraft unit, obviously. <clears throat> and then... Hockey the Hornets separately, obviously. Wingmen would be nice, uh, but the Hornets have pretty okay power by themselves, even before they're upgraded. We could garrison that little thing over there, but... I'm really not a fan of garrisoning stuff in general. What is the supply that I forgot somehow? Oh, it's right there. I probably pulled all my units away or something. Uh. Already at maximum population. Oh, well, that figures. Spirit of fire. Getting a little hairy here, sir. Where's that backup? Oh, I don't know, man. Is that our only mission objective? Could could I have just sped run this mission and not given a fuck? I getting the feeling that maybe I could have. Enemy engagement. Alright, um, we might actually not want the Gauss Cannon upgrade, honestly, I don't really remember. So, I don't know, man. Where are my Hornets at? There they are. Yeah, Gauss Cannon would be way more useful for dealing with some of this other stuff, though, so. Hard to say. Especially those fucking tendrils that one hit some of our vehicles or deal a lot of damage to some of our vehicles anyways. Obviously that ain't great. Uh no this okay. So that is a base site thing, blood colony. Um Huh. What's over here then, besides just a base site? Or is this even a base site? Not sure what just happened, but the large one just shook like it was hurt. Yes. When the colony was destroyed, I registered the large creature weakening. What large creature are you we talking about? We noticed a few colony creatures on the way in. We can weaken the big one by taking them out first. Uploading coordinates. Oh, I don't like that damage at all. Holy shit. Oh, okay. It's this mission. I thought this mission was actually way later, but clearly I was mistaken. We'll try and dodge the damage here by mi microing our uh, aircraft since it prioritizes them. Either way, the uh, firebase being here means we can get a reactor, some more income. Base under attack. XD, by the way. Station I don't know what was just said, but it offended me personally. Keep killing those things. The big one is even weaker. See, I don't know what big one you guys are talking about, but whatever it is, it's uh, pretty retarded. All right, let's go ahead and get the reinforcements upgrade. And we can get the wingman upgrade. We can even save up afterwards. For the Gauss Cannon upgrade, and get some more Turret complete. Gauss Cannons. Um, are they decent at anti-air? I don't know. I can't really tell what's happening, honestly. Their projectiles are really small, so it's hard to know what they're doing. And if I'm the unlucky fuck that I probably am, YouTube probably compresses them out of existence or something. Lock him up. Okay. Go ahead and get that upgrade that I was talking about. Okay, I guess we need more money. Wow. Holy shit. 
pad complete. Reinforcements research. Wingmen research. All right, cool. And the Gauss cannon upgrades about uh, almost halfway there. Still needs some time to go. What are these? Uh... Oh, the flood nests also regenerate. That's pretty gay. Oh, they have actual flood units over here. It's a bit, bit of a shock, honestly. So the flood colonies, I guess, uh, aren't actually easy to dispatch. As easy as I thought they would be, anyways. More resources required. Uh, we can always set a global rally point over here. Oh, that guy does not give a fuck. Supply pad upgrade. Enemy engagement. Oh, okay. So when it comes back to life, it has almost no health. So it's easy to kill again, which is obviously a pretty, pretty nice uh, feature, I guess. Oh shit! Let's uh, let's micro out of that one. We can go ahead and heal. All right, so we'll try and get all of them dormant at once. I don't know if that'll shut them out uh, per permanently or what. What's gonna happen there? But let's go ahead and get a railgun on this guy for those big guys. I still don't know what big one they're talking about. I think they assumed you would come to these guys before killing one of them. I still haven't even done anything about that. So obviously, that's not the case. All right, let's go ahead and bring them in. Hey. All units. Let's go. Huh. What a bizarre race. Fortress upgrade complete. We'll go ahead and get a vehicle depot as well. Might as well have the ability to produce however many units we want. Those units go down a lot easier to uh, to this stuff, anyways. So. One of the colonies has regenerated, and the large creature has gained strength. Target acquired. Uh oh. Supply pad complete. Well, let's hope we can kill that guy before he one-shots something. Hey, we did it. Alright, go ahead and give that guy a missile launcher. And that guy a missile launcher. And that guy can be his own fucking father for all I give a shit. Um, let's see... So what do we really want to do here? I guess we can go ahead and start mo making our way towards this other one. Uh, vehicle depot complete means we can probably start getting some scorpions out. They'd probably be pretty useful here, but they're also really expensive to invest in. Uh, let me see. We actually can get chaff pod. What does this do? Passive chaff ability that's used to distract it and divert incoming enemy missiles. Okay. Let's try and get these guys to prioritize the Flood Launcher. Which is an excellent name for something like this. Although, obviously, we have uh, broken off, I think, a little bit more than we can shoot here. Based on... Uh, what I'm looking at. These units don't seem to have um, active abilities, unlike all of the other units. So, that's... That is a little interesting. In my sight. Take out more colonies quickly. The first one is starting to regenerate. Doesn't really look like there's any there's a good target here. We can try and prioritize these air units since they seem to be pretty obnoxious. There's a top quality line delivered by a top quality voice actor right there, man. So what is our uh wonder what our super unit this game is? Presumably it would be the grizzly upgrades to the uh, scorpions. I don't really know. I also don't know why I just invested in marines, but hey, man, sometimes One we do. Has regenerated, and the large creature has gained strength. Also, these dialogue lines seem to be happening out of order or something. <laughs> Not really sure what's happening with that. Fucking infection forms, Jesus Christ. 
Yeah, the, uh... These units deal with these, uh... It, the Warthogs with Ghost Cannons seem to dispatch these guys pretty fucking easily. Hornets, on the other hand, seem to not be having a great job. Or a great time, I don't know. Go ahead and get some Scorpions out. Set the rally point here. We can go ahead and get a couple of Warthogs up. Really? Those are considered bases? Go fuck yourself, game. I mean, that's probably pretty useful if they're not fucking right next to a base, you know? I have a max rank Warthog, so I'd like to keep him intact somewhat. Even though that's a shitty mechanic. Yeah, so our uh, super unit must be the Grizzlies, then. Unless... Did I even check? Yeah, so it's... The other super unit you can get is... Um, the other super unit upgrade you can get, rather, is, uh... Wow, you missed. I don't know how you missed, but you did. Good job. There you go. He did it. Aren't we so proud of him? Um, so yeah, you can get Grizzly upgrades, you can get ODST upgrades to Marines, and then there's... I forget what the fuck the unit is called. But you can get an upgrade to, uh, the Hornets, which I should build more of. Okay. So I don't actually know what else we can do here. Seems to be a few flood nests, but we can't ever kill them permanently, so it's pretty frustrating to try and deal with. Let's try and, uh, get rid of these flood launchers. About time you guys showed up. I've lost Angus transponder. Could the creature be jamming the signal? I don't know what creature you I still don't know what creature these guys are talking about. I think I desynced the game or something. Flood to boss. Wow. Power turret research. I don't know, man. You seem pretty goofy. Okay, so there's another one of those. Uh, we got some tanks here. We got more tanks on the way. What do we got for Hornets or two? Yeah, we can max out on Hornets. That's probably fine. No, 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 that guy's max rank, you fucking asshole. Okay, cool. Alright, so our Hornets, as you can see, predictably, move pretty fucking quick, so... Alright, this is, uh, probably a little goofy. Whoa! Trying to get back in the, uh... I don't know what I'm trying to do, honestly. This is just retarded. One of the colonies has regenerated, and a large creature has gained right, well, why don't you guys kill that, and then come back here. Target acquired. Why don't you guys take out that? Enemy engagement. Proto grave mine. What a bizarre fucking thing, honestly. Oh, we did lose a. We lost something. I don't know. We might have lost some brain cells, actually. Oh, he's got our uh, our max rank guy. Um, why don't you jump into this? Deal with that. Alright, what do we got here? Our hornets are killing themselves. Fair enough. Fair play. Makes sense. Uh, let's go ahead and get more of them. Set the rally point here. Colony is dormant. Enemy engagement. You don't say. On the target. Hornet engaging. Die monster. That's a real line of dialogue, I think. Enemy engagement. I should probably use that uh, carpet bomb shit I was talking about earlier. Try and take out some of those things. Oh, 
we won. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to that thing's health. Well, I don't know what's happening. I just sort of know that we finished the mission. That that seemed like the definition of filler maps to me. Like, there wasn't really any... Uh, what was the term? Like, uh, it didn't seem like there was any stakes, right? Like, the entrance of this proto-gravemind -gra was just... There's some creature. We don't even get to... I mean, obviously, I seem to have bugged out the game somehow where it didn't actually show me the creature, for whatever reason. Ah, it just seems so fucking weird. This is her. Yes, Hierarch. This is the one I observed. Such a frail thing. You would hardly think them a threat. I demand to know why I'm being held. Demand. Arbiter, a human ship has arrived and is closing in on the entrance port. <laughs> Get the Hierarch to High Charity, intercept that human ship, and destroy it at once. XV, by the way. Nothing but ocean. Are you sure this is it, Serena? Fairly sure. Initiating a deep scan. Ducking? Cleansing? Uh, that's not right. Captain, you are not going to like this. Serena, Captain, we've got company. I don't know how he could see that through the... <laughs> wherever they were, but whatever. I've got troops out there still. Get them back on board now. Captain, I can only hold this position a few minutes at the most. Now, Serena. Recalling the surface squad so we can all die together. Aye, sir. Don't say that. Three platoons inbound, designating them Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Red team. They're with Charlie, sir. Uh, that could be a problem. We can't evac those trapped marines until the air is clear. Let's be about it, people. You got it, man. I'm a real about it person, if you know me from real life. I'm so about it, I just spent all of my money immediately. Serena, see if you can buy us more time. Sergeant, break through that line for our pelicans. All units. Wait, what is my, uh... Sergeant? Who's... I don't see Forge down here. What the fuck are you talking about? Alright, so, as you can see, this is one of them escort missions, rescue missions, whatever you're gonna call it. For some reason, the black box is just with the Bravo team. What the fuck is that thing? It's a bomber. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, get away from my tanks, please. Blood egg. That's, uh, that's not right, man. Alright, well, let's get a missile launcher to better deal with those guys. Go ahead and upgrade our supply pads. And grab new blood. Seems like a pretty essential upgrade. And then we will, uh, obviously spend the rest of our building slots probably on supplies, if I had to guess. I don't think there will be much else that we can realistically spend this stuff on. I think these pelicans fly over and rescue the units or something, but I, we probably keep the the grizzly for uh, us to use in future endeavors. Alpha platoon. We've got hostile contact. Lots of hostile contact. Mm, yeah. You don't fucking say. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that, but I'm busy. Call me later. Um, 
We probably do want to invest in a couple of Warthog upgrades because they're the only units we're going to be able to build outside of Marines. And... Yeah. It's kind of shit, but... I don't know, whatever. I'm going to grab another squad of Marines. And eventually I'll go ahead and get that 500 upgrade. 500 supply upgrade for our base. I think it's 500. Could be wrong. Don't say that. Oh, holy fucking shit! Look at all those air units. That's why I remember this being cancer. Look at them all! Jesus Christ! Wowee! Infected flamethrower, my ass. Holy shit, that's gonna be scary stuff. Alright, that tells me we need warthogs, and lots of them. Probably fully upgraded warthogs, honestly. Uh. Captain, those pylons down there are generating the field we're in. All units. Can we shut them down? Way ahead of you, sir. Forge, I'm sending you a new toy, a gremlin. Drive it over to that pylon. Ready to roll. What? This uh. is Alpha Platoon. We can't hold our position much longer. Yeah, I wonder why. Holy shit. Well, I don't know what the fuck these guys do, but... We'll go ahead and see. What do they do? EMP gun. Good against vehicles. Wow, they're going to be real useful right now, man. I can tell you that much. Alright, let's try and push our way through here to see what happens. No, 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 no. You go over there. Local units. Don't say that. Gremlin in position. EMP in three, two, one. Oh shit! It's exactly what we need. Recalculating speed of descent. Carry the four, and we might just make it. Moving. Moving. All right. Cool. Well, we can't use that gremlin anymore, which is just as well because it's probably worthless. Out. Hopefully that freezes all of the- Nice! We actually did the right thing, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> I don't really know what's going on. More resources required. Uh, yeah, you're right. Let's get some supplies. Yeah, infantry here are not going to be the most useful, probably. Let's uh, try and hit these air units, anyways. Okay, cool. So they don't have any air units left. Well, why don't you hit them? There you go. Good job. You did it. That's all you. Let's go ahead and hit these. Uh... Oh man, this is a nightmare. These units up. I'm not microing them, so of course they're dying a lot faster. Holy shit, there are so many of these fucking defenses, too. Which is pretty bad. Let's move this tank back. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't really know what the best decision here is, but presumably we can now use this tank and they won't fire upon it, I hope. Holy shit with the air units, come on. We don't have any upgrades for these guys, so obviously they're going to be pretty difficult to keep alive, it would seem. I'm sending you in, man. Or I'm actually trying to send you out. Alright, cool, we did it. Holy shit. Let's not lose the tank now, that would be great. Let's go ahead and get the upgrade, because we were too busy microing to spend money. Oh, 
All right, cool. So once you you start attacking them, obviously they stop sending forces over here. They're not spawned like StarCraft here or something. Moving out. Moving out. All right. Um. In that case, do we even really? I don't. I don't think we even want a barrack. Fuck me! How did I select that by accident? Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and get the Warthog upgrade started. Fuck yeah. Alright, so... Oh man, these are fucking dormant. Uh, well that just means that they'll attack us. There's nothing else for them to attack over here, unless they start mixing it up with uh, those guys. Depot okay, so let's move our units over here, since apparently that's the way to get to that other base. Uh, oh wait, there's one more, okay. You need to come over here, we'll rally this way, start getting canister shell upgrades, sure, why not? And then we'll need to find more pylons and EMP them, which is whatever, I mean we're in a forerunner area I guess, so. Oh, we need the canister shell upgrade for the grizzlies to use them as well. Okay, good to know. We are getting it, so. All units. All right, let's try and apprehend these guys before we uh, before they lose it. Holy shit, that's so scary to look at. I, that doesn't even get them all either. <laughs> of course. Um, More resources. Uh, come on. Oh, you're getting hit by two people. Oops. All right. Well, I have no idea what to fucking do about these air units, but. Hopefully it doesn't involve losing my entire army, that's all I can say. We're gonna get Goss Cannons anyways pretty soon, so... It won't be the end of the world. Um, Jesus Christ. Obviously, we still need to clear out the... I think it's only this last one over here. Alright, cool. Oh, there's two of them. Reasonable. Holy shit. Never mind. Holy shit! Why are there so many of these fucking things? Wowee. Yeah, I know. Alright, cool. We did it. Let's wait for our units to heal here. Um... We should actually be good. I don't even think we need to get the other pylons. All units. All units. I don't know what's spawning these guys, but it needs to fuck off. Turret improved. Holy shit, it's spawning them at the speed of about 10 million Tonys cooking pizza between their thighs. Fuck off. Oh yeah, that's fine, dude. Don't worry about it. 100% balance. Oh, it's because there were two of them. That's still a retarded fucking train time, but whatever. Alright, they've been XD'd. Don't say that. Would you get in here? Send us in. Send us in. Don't. Jesus Christ. Send us in. 
Alright, you know what? Let's just fuck him. Let's see what we can do. Which clearly is not much. All units. One thing that's interesting about this game is that when you order up a unit, it immediately takes con uh, takes up supply. Which I think is weird. I don't know what creates the spore clouds. All clear. Evac flight. Start your run. Presumably it's uh, those fucking defense towers. That's what I would imagine anyways. But I, I don't really know. So it's, it is hard to say. Did we get a grizzly over here? No, we get an elephant, which is worthless. So let's go ahead and get a a guy over here to grab those resources. And we can't actually order up new units, so it doesn't really matter. About time. I won't forget this. Enemy engagement. All right, great. Why don't you uh, go sit here and help defend my base? Turret improved. Rolling out. All right, so now we only have to worry about one other thing. Um, one other base, and then we're done here. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that's uh, substantial to this mission. Turret complete. Um, yeah, it's probably fine. Base under attack. It's fine, relax. Turret improved. Turret improved. I just gave that one a, uh... What do you call it? I don't really need this money, so let's just go this way. That is so retarded. I don't know why they made that happen. Well, and it makes that retarded sound on top of it all. Would you guys go? What are you guys doing? All units. Oh, the fucking elephant got caught up in this all units shit. Just go set up out of my way. Oh, this is not out of my way, you fucking idiot! Jesus Christ. Worst part is I can't even re replenish what I lose because I have that fucking guy taking up space, this elephant here. I could suicide it, but that actually takes more work than you would think in this game. All clear. Evac flight. Start your run. Moving out. Aerial hostiles on an intercept course. Evac flight. Abort. Repeat. Evac flight. Abort. Abort. Well, now what do we do? This is Charlie Platoon. We'll come in on our own. Keep those engines hot. Wow. What a joke. Why does it even matter? I've already won. I don't even know where I'm supposed to send these guys, but... Oh. Got it. All units. Local units. Alright, well... Let's just get out of here. This guy needs to unfucking pack. Holy shit, get out of the way! Enemy engagement. Holy moly. Oh yeah, let me just spawn a million air units. Local units. Uh, at least I can bring these guys over here. This fucking elephant base needs to fuck right off, seriously. At this point, is I guess the way you're supposed to do it is you're supposed to just get up, uh, build enough supply pads or whatever to get whatever you need, and then it's at that point that you fucking sell your supply pads, right? Like, I can do this, and then build the field armory and get uh, reinforcements and some other stuff if necessary. But I don't... 
don't think that that's Local super unit. necessary. All units. All right, come on, get everybody Enemy over here. Engagement. Field armory complete. Oh man. Just to get adrenaline. It wouldn't matter. I already got everybody over here. But... Ready. Welcome back. All ground forces, presence and accounted for, Captain. Hey, I did the skull challenge too. <laughs> Just at the last Good second. Work. Serena, final evac from planet surface inbound. Prep airlines. At least I'm pretty sure there's only one more mission where we have to do with the flood. And I think it's probably the next level. That also felt like a filler mission though, did it not? Like it just nothing was really introduced or explained and there's no gravitas to anything? I don't know. It seemed really bizarre to me. This is pretty cool though, the idea that you're inside a planet. I also don't think that they really explained too much of it. Right guys? So I don't really know. I don't want to sing its praises too much since it does feel a little underdeveloped. At least that's what I remember. What's going on here? Best guess, we're being pulled through some sort of docking system. That alien life form followed us in. We have a significant infestation on the aft quarter. Forge, get out there and get those things off my ship. You can requisition troops from the airlocks on the deck. If we lose those airlocks, we'll be defenseless. All right, cool. Well, oh, nice. And then there are these uh, infantry airlocks. Do we have any vehicle ones? Probably not, right? Uh, okay. Those aliens are dropping pods on the hull from all around us. Keep watch for them. Let's go ahead and clear this area out, anyways. We can get some turrets up. Obviously, we need to. Try and keep as many airlocks as possible. And then we want to use uh, air units to clear out the... Um, you know, to clear out the infestation that's on the side. We might be able to deal with it anyways. I don't think these uh, flood, unit, flood structures regenerate. I'm pretty sure they don't. So you, once you kill them, you don't have to deal with them. Oh, no, they are considered dormant, which is pretty shitty. Let's go ahead and get, uh, some more turrets around. I don't know what gives us our income here, but we can get some more, obviously. Wingman, see. research. On the way. So they are waiting to regenerate. But if we have turrets here, obviously don't, we don't really have to worry about them regenerating. Turret. And I think as long as we get everything dormant around the same right time, we, we really don't have to worry about them. All right, so I don't know why this keeps getting. Oh, this must keep. This is getting attacked by. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Let's go ahead and bring some hornets over here to help out on that side. Just use uh, his shotgun spam ability on the uh, big guy. That should deal with that relatively quickly. Get more turrets here. Alien population on the hull is increasing, and the structure is reacting. More of those drones inbound too. Turret complete. Let's just keep getting the. Uh... Oh yeah, the forerunner. Uh, whatever these are, the sentinels are also neutral units. I don't know why we're tasked with destroying them. Honestly, like, uh, it doesn't really seem like it's something that we should worry about, but... Whatever, man. They are obviously helping us, so... I don't know, that never seemed like a reasonable thing to me. Okay, let's, uh... Try and pull back here and focus our... Take him down, you're right, man. You got it. I'll get it. I'll get it. Yes. You'll get it. Apparently. Allegedly. Can he use his shotgun on air units? Oh wow, he can. It's crazy. I don't even think they actually attack us, honestly. It doesn't seem like they do. We just shoot them for no fucking reason. Uh, let's try and shut down this 
defense, were you? Or, yeah, static defense structure that they got going down here. Thankfully, our uh, Spartan's shields have mostly stayed intact. So they haven't taken any health damage. Forge has done a little, but he's pretty formidable. And I think we can just keep these guys here and then readdress, reassess what the hell's going on here. These Cyclops can also repair our structures for us, which are pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and get a missile launcher on that one. And they will slowly pick off these units here, these uh, Sentinels, so... That's another reason why I never really felt the need to destroy them. Obviously, if you want to get the Skull, it's a little bit different, but I don't really give a shit about those. They don't attack us directly, which I thought was a little odd, but... Whatever, uh, whatever works, I guess. Security barrier breached. High order infection detected. Unidentified alien intrusion detected. Initiating stage three defense protocols. Bad news. I intercepted a signal from the alien AI. Those drones have declared us a threat and are massing behind Oh, okay, us. now they'll start to attack us. Um... So that's obviously not great. We can get a couple Cyclopses over here to defend. Decontamination sequence commencing. Turret improved. Oh. Get your men into the airlocks. Something very bad is coming. I remember this stupid shit. We're going. Cyclops prepared. The energy field is reacting to the aliens. It's trying to clean our hole. Take cover out there. I don't know what that shit was in the background, but air units fly through the ring in the opposite the direction. Right right it will minimize damage. On the way. On the way. Yeah, you don't say. On the way. Okay, so I don't know what the fuck. Turret complete. Turret complete. On the way. I guess I'll just garrison all these units. All units. I only have one air unit apparently, On so. On my way. On my way. All units. On my way. The drones and the cleansing rings seem to be able to remove the aliens if they're already damaged. Local units. Okay, so that's how we get rid of the the units permanently. We have to send them into uh, into dormancy, and then they are able to kill off all of this stuff, which is pretty critical. So we'll go ahead and keep building these turrets. Um, More resources required. I guess I get this chaff pod. I don't even know if it's Complete. useful against the flood, so whatever. Um, let's just keep units stacked over here. Maybe they can't repair. Maybe they can. I don't know what this R is. No, I don't know, man. Maybe they never were able to repair. Maybe that's an upgrade we need to get them or something. I don't. I don't fucking know, man. On the way. Right away. Either way, let's uh, keep these things cleared. I think if we just keep building turrets, we'll probably be able to keep them mostly cleared, and we just put missile turrets on all of them, so we don't have to worry too much about the sentinels themselves doing damage to us. <laughs> um. Local Let's units. call hockey these guys to three. And go ahead and turret improve. Keep setting turrets up. up. Turret improve. Um. What needs the turrets turret the complete. most? Probably. Just keep building them in the main area. And then. Yeah. Where are my, my ground squad? These guys I can use to wipe out this stuff over here. And then... I don't know what this R is. You got it, alright. Right away, by the way. Okay, so let's keep getting 
turrets where we can. Do I really only have two fucking hornets after all the hornets I've built? These things seem pretty fucking worthless at that point. I have a downed hero. Oh, it's because I was an idiot. I, I think at this point, after all of the different times you've shown me this tip, you probably could have deactivated the tip, huh? What do you think? You think it's still necessary to notify me? Every single fucking time? Or is it maybe a little excessive now? What do you... Come on, game. Let's let's start a dialogue on tipping. All right. So I, I want to try and clear this stuff out, anyways. There's a lot of units that are spazzing out or something. I don't know what's happening. Um. Let's get uh, some of these units, since obviously we're dealing with airs, air units. Excuse me. Decontamination sequence commencing. All right. Let's blast this shit. Take cover. Another cleansing wave is coming. Now we gotta run. On the way. We're going. Um. All units. Yeah, we don't even have any air units left, so that's fantastic. Oh shit! My air, my uh, guys were not able to. We're going. What the fuck is We're wrong going. with you? Besides the fact that you're going. There we go. We did it. Healing target. Alright. No, not that. All units. Local units. Volley. Research. So we've managed to wipe out right away. On the way. The stuff that's not on the hull. On the way. We still need to wipe this shit out because Obviously, it's uh, not actually staying dead. Holy shit, they really don't like. Uh, anything. <laughs> They're really fucking us here. Holy moly. Why don't you guys fuck the other things instead, man? Why? Why are they spinning like that? Super Sentinels. Well, now all the sound turned off, so I think I might, maybe I'm desodding. Well, the combat sound did, anyways. I don't know what's happening. Got it. I, did I break the game? Oh, there it is. Came back. Why can't I make these? I think you can only make those later. This game is fucking broken right now for some reason. Can we actually hit that stuff from here? I don't think so. I think you need to have air units, actually. Alright, let's just keep building turrets. Do our best to uh, keep our stuff alive. Turret complete. Try and blow this stuff up before they blow us up. This thing would be great for campfires. Don't going. ever speak again, please. If you can help it. Alright, so I guess we really do need these fucking hornets, but they keep dying immediately after I build them, so I don't fucking know what to think. Honestly, my uh, wolverines could probably take on these fucking units. Yeah, I, thanks for pinging them to me. Really appreciate it. Um, oh, that's not good. Oh, never mind. It's fine. Apparently. <laughs> All right. Why don't we one v one this stuff? On my way. And we need more fucking hornets. Ugh. I think if we had more than one ear unit, we would probably be okay here, but the Hornets themselves do not seem to be doing pretty well. You Very well. You got it. You got it. Alright, so we have destroyed those right before the cooldown, which 
Hopefully it means that we have a higher chance of not fucking... Holy fucking shit! What is this? Where's my sound? There it is. Alright, cool. On your way, by the way. Alright, let's try and destroy as many as we can here. Got it. All right, I think that's everything. All units. All units. Okay, cool. On my way. I don't know where my hornets are. Hornet on station. healing target. On my way. All right. All units. On my way. Cool. We've destroyed a bunch on of stuff. Way. Whoa. Go, 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 quick. Ah, shit, you guys suck. Alright, so presumably... We'll only have to deal with this stuff. Oh, hi. Maybe, uh, that's what we need fucking chaff pods for, I don't know. Oh shit, we lost that one to something. Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, unlock this. All units. Stick all our uh, death squad here. Why are we still controlling all units? Two vultures have just finished repairs. They're yours to command. Oh yeah, this is where it gets really easy. On my way. The vultures are fucking broken. So we should be able to just kill off the rest of this stuff in the meantime, and keep it dead. Presumably, anyways. I don't know what's happening, there's a lot of weird shit going on in this game right now. I really couldn't tell you. You used to be- I thought you were able to power these. Maybe this is in another mission that I'm thinking about. Anyway, these units have like a rocket barrage type ability. Makes them very fucking powerful. So yeah, we'll try and keep these units mostly uh, in the areas that they are necessary. Um, yeah, should be fine. Um, oh yeah, I have those wolverines as well, I should get out. And leave one at each area. What? What are you pinging? Oh, is a skull I can complete. collect with the hornet? Turret complete. Oh yeah, they've been EMP'd. Holy moly, man. The fucking uh, sentinels here are really pieces of shit. Mm. Wow. Holy moly. I don't know what the fuck is going on here, man. More resources required. <laughs> what the fuck? Just getting these turrets up is uh, challenging enough. Turret complete. Right now. Targeting those units is almost impossible too. Take cover. Improve. Yeah, you don't say. Go ahead and move these guys over here. Blood. Research. Uh, All units. All right, now you guys need to get in here. 
those are all taken care of, but I do need my hornets to run over here and kill this, just to make sure. Meanwhile, this guy can fly face first into his dick. Yeah, the vultures do have a special ability as well, which is like this huge mis mis missile barrage. Which makes them ex exceptionally uh, strong. Alright, cool. Well, apparently my vulture killed itself. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it died to that. Makes sense. All clear. The hull is clean. On my way. Serena, maximum power to the engines. Get us out of here. Who's to say that it's actually gonna be, uh, fine? I don't know, man. And then we got that. Skull at the very end. Good stuff. Is that really the third mission we've completed? It's only been an hour and I've done three missions. the planet XD by the way Captain we need damage control or the spirit of fire is going down Forge use Cyclopses to repair the power core while you defend against Covenant attacks ha ah, the arbitrary power core all right so now we can Pair this stuff. Where's our... First of all, where's our page up? There we go. I probably forgot to do that last time. Oh, and now we have Hawks. So these are the upgrades, the super units. Uh, anytime you want to fight back against that, it's probably good. Ah, oh, shit. We need way more Cyclopses. Captain, they're transporting invasion forces onto the hull. Got it. Let's move these guys over here. We obviously don't have any fucking units anywhere, which is pretty goofy. Um, all right, cool. So we can use multiple squads of our multiple Cyclopses to uh, to deal with this stuff if we so desire. And obviously, I desire something to do with that. So in this in this one, we just passively gain money by ten. <laughs> I don't know why that's different than the last mission. Well, uh, whatever. All right. So hopefully, we will be able to take control of something or other here pretty soon. Okay. You need to shoot that guy. At least one deck gun? Holy shit. That's the optional objective? I don't know, man. It might be too difficult. <laughs> if I hope it's not too difficult, because if that's too difficult, then there's some serious problems. Uh, let's keep the Spartans back here. This is a pretty good place to consolidate defenses. And uh, then we can just do our best to keep the Hawks as our main squad here. Uh, we got another guy coming over here that's fine just getting these defenses online will help be a great boon to us let's go ahead and transfer this guy to repair that how much these cyclops cost not too much so that's they're pretty attacking good. with both aircraft and ground troops we should upgrade our turrets to counter appropriately yeah you don't say i think i'm actually going to go with a flame mortar on the left but a railgun on the right because i did see locusts so those are obviously not going to be great Turret oh. complete. Am I getting called or something? Turret improved. I don't know what that vibration sound was. Oh, uh, it looks like we did lose a deck gun. Or a couple deck guns, apparently. Standing by. Why don't we transfer this guy over to Turret that? Yes, sir. 
And then we can just have a couple of uh, extra Cyclopses here for miscellaneous repairs, we'll call it. Alright, we've got some uh, action here. Why don't we... Wow, nice. Good stuff. Uh, let's focus on clearing out this shit. Well, if you're gonna blow your load on the wrong transport. What are these guys even doing? Alright, well, let's prioritize the vehicle. Uh, and then we can try and prioritize the hunters here. Although I don't really know what we're supposed to be prioritizing, honestly. Let's use the Cyclops over here, get him on that gun. Or not even gun, the main objective. Wow, there's some serious, uh... Serious infantry over here. Alright, cool. Yeah, so far so good. We can't actually click over there, so let me just try and... Uh, vampires. Those are anti-air, so obviously not great for us. Unless they target something else, I don't know. We can try and meet them with our air units anyways. Since we have so many more of them, but... As you can see, it's not great damage trades. Alright, there's another one dead. Obviously we can also uh, use our Wolverines. We sh looks like they're fully upgraded, so... They're an option. Alright, cool. As many of those as we can pick off before the, uh, they become a problem. Is obviously going to be better for us. Um, speaking of which, oh, these are just banshees. Maybe we can pick off that guy though. Yeah, cool. Um, let's go ahead and get another turret over there. Try and uh, attract quote-unquote, additional uh, units, because obviously they're going to be going after our, well, logically you would think they would go after our military units, our turrets, and, and etc., before they go after anything else. But as you can see, they're clearly being issued move orders to some mysterious location. Our power core has been repaired about halfway. Oh, good. Let's uh, get more guys on there. You can, uh, you can probably come down here too, I guess. I don't see why not. I don't know why they were just, for no reason, disallowed the repair feature. Last mission doesn't really make any sense to me. But. There you go. Turret complete. Wow, we got our skull real fucking easy this time around. So, do those deck guns even help us? Because some of them aren't even using, being used. Maybe they're just there for role-playing purposes, you know? Like, oh, we're on a ship. That's what these guys are supposed to sell to us. Just keep getting more hawks. As you can see, they're pretty fucking effective. Fight them all. Oh. Alright, well, let's take care of that, probably. What I do like about this game is that it seems like most units aren't binary, in the sense that they can only target air or ground, because that's built into their, like, unit paradigm. Like, oh, these units are anti-air. But they still have, a, like, a weak ground attack. And, uh, it seems appropriate based on what armament they have or whatever. At least that's what it seems like to me. I could be wrong about that. Moving out. Regeneration healing 
Also heal and repair. I think that also <laughs> speeds up our... Uh, Our healing efforts here. Holy shit, there are some serious fucking drops this time around. Because I wasn't, uh, you can sort of see the difference when you don't micro your hawks to pick off the transports before they show up. You suddenly have to deal with about 10 billion units. So you try to be a little more... Our power core is about 75% repaired. Try to be a little bit more, uh, conscious of that, I guess. All right, cool. I think we can, yeah, safely say that the mission is won. This is another quickie, it would seem. Just replace our uh, hawks whenever we lose them. I think that's probably a better solution than trying to spend money on repairing them. But I could be wrong. I don't know what blew up. Maybe it was this turret. Maybe it was an enemy unit. I honestly have no fucking idea. Sound effects aren't uh, super readable in this game. What do you call 13 banshees stuck inside each other? I'm asking out of uh, curiosity, not as a punchline or something. Or a setup to a punchline. Oh, nice death animation. That's pretty cool. Why can't I click on the minimap? It's, it's really hard to click on the minimap in this level for some reason. I guess it's because a lot of this stuff doesn't technically exist or something. I don't know what's going on with this fucking skybox here, though. It looks like something out of Warcraft 3. I, as in not good, in case that's uh, ambiguous somehow. The spirit's power core is almost prepared. Good stuff. We apparently have units... Uh, fighting, but put a stop to that nonsense. Yeah, okay, cool. Looks like we'll be good to uh, call it repaired pretty soon. Looks like we also lost another hawk, so we can go ahead and replace that. We still didn't fully outfit this pl entire uh, ship with turrets yet, which is interesting to me. They removed the option to build them over there. Oh, I could still get this one, though. I wonder if that bombardment shit is actually just graphical or if it would do damage. Presumably it would yield actual damage. It would look really weird otherwise. So, I don't really know what to think about that mission, honestly. Um, it went by in almost only 11 minutes, but I liked the concept of it. It just... I feel like it could have been improved if it was turned into some sort of... Well, a more fully-fledged mission, maybe. <laughs> like, oh, we've got, uh... What's it called? We've got, like... I don't know. Uh, we can raid the enemy ship and destroy it or something. Maybe for story reasons that wasn't allowed, but having it be so that we didn't just arbitrarily have to repair our power core would have gone a long way because then it would have, there would have been more of a interactive purpose to it than just me throwing six Cyclops on the uh, power core and calling it a day. So yeah, could have been, uh, could have been better. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do another mission since this one was so quick, but any uh, the, the next mission would probably put us over towards two, or two hours, maybe. I don't really remember exactly which mission it is, but even if we were only an 11-minute mission, I don't know that I would want to do it anyways since I've been doing four missions every time, so... I think this is probably the filler section. Hopefully the next couple of missions won't be as sort of aimless or lackluster in some capacity but uh yeah when we come back we'll be on to the 13th mission beachhead which uh i think i remember being somewhat re retarded but maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong we'll see <laughs>